When we deal with these triangles with angles in them, let's make this one alpha, and we put them on the Cartesian plane, we're clearly dealing with an acute angle, because if that's 0 and that's 90, then this must be something in between. Remember, I'm creating a right angled triangle, and I'm aware that this over here is the radius. Okay, so now I'm just going to populate this with the ideas we discussed earlier. The distance over here is clearly the x coordinate of that point. Okay, this one is the y, so we've got x, y, and r. Okay, and what will be given to you is numbers for these things. And you may have to use Pythagoras to work them out. So, for example, if I told you that r was 5, let's make that equal to 5. And if I said y was 3, using Pythagoras, you'd be able to work out x. Okay, now you might recognize this as a Pythagorean triplet of 3, 4, 5. If not, then at least you know where to go back and revise. It'll be Pythagoras. Okay, so I've got the values. I've got that x is 4, and I've got that y is 3, and I've got r is 5. And so what you'll start doing in trig is you're going to need to put these into the trig functions. Okay, so it's got to have an angle. You don't get sine, cos, and tan without their angle. They cannot be separated. So if in, a, in an example like this you asked for sine of alpha, what they're saying is what fraction in the triangle will give you exactly the same as sine of alpha. Now what we're saying is it equals that. Okay, so we've said that sine of the angle is y over r. The sine of the angle, that's the name of something you do to that angle that'll give you this particular thing, the y over the r. The y I've got is 3, the r is 5. So that is just a name given to what is done to the angle to get that. Okay, and I think that's where perhaps we get ourselves confused. What I've seen, and I, I worry to write it down for you because I hope I don't stick this in your mind indefinitely, but I've seen children write this. They write sine 3 over 5, which is like conceptually completely wrong because the sine of the angle, we don't know what that angle is, right? And we are going to find out eventually in some other exercises, but the point is you can't have that. Okay, that's a big no-no, because that tells me that you think that there's a sine function of the, of the fraction and there isn't. The sine function of the angle equals the fraction, and that's the most important concept you can get in trig. So the cos function, we now shorten them, so sine stays the same pronunciation, but we change it to without an e on the end. The cos function is the x over r, okay, and what we're doing is we're replacing the cos function of alpha with the numbers in the fraction. So x is 4 and r is 5, okay, and in the same way we're going to have the tan function of the angle, and the tan function is the y over x, okay. So that is going to be 3 over 4. Most people have some way of memorizing these and they do need to be remembered. Um, the most popular one I find my kids have is they say sine your rear cause x-rays tan your exterior or whatever way you want to use. Um, there's some lovely mnemonics out there and you do have to remember them off by heart and getting them wrong basically guarantees that the rest of your question will also be wrong.